Hey guys, how's it going? Corey and Joey here. Another edition of Tackle Warehouse First Look, iCast edition. And today we got a lot of new, more new stuff coming out from Lunker Hunt. And who we got today, Matt? Or who we got? <laughs> kind of spoiling the, the surprise there, Corey. I am Joey, but on the line we've got Matt Airy. Uh, Matt, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. Absolutely. So uh, Matt, Matt is not only a Lunker Hunt pro, but he's just off a great finish at the 2021 Classic. Awesome right, Corey? Finish. Awesome finish. Yeah, it's yeah. cool and, to watch. And Matt, I know sometimes it's way harder to talk about a runner-up finish than it is to talk about <laughs> a 10th place or a last place finish. But uh, it, man, you almost took that thing home. Can, can you tell us a little bit about your week? And, uh, and yeah, we know it was some challenging conditions. Some fun looking fishing, but yeah. difficult fishing. So uh, what happened there? Yeah, it really was. So when we first got down there, <laughs> you know, we, we I'm from North Carolina. We had been like in a drought situation. So uh, Canterbury, my roommate, called me like the week before the class. And he's like, hey, man, if you looked at the water level at Ray Roberts. And I'm like, no, I said, I figured it was, you know, normal or low or whatever. And I honestly wasn't paying attention to the weather like I should have. And he said, man, it's three feet high. So you're full on it you know and it said uh i went online looked at it and yeah it was like three feet high by the time we got there it was four feet high and we had four or five inches of rain on monday after the uh, uh our, our official or our regular three-day practice ended and came up a couple more inches throughout the week but i think the fact that it had been high and, and semi-stabilized for a couple of weeks actually helped the fish kind of adjust to all the new cover that was available there's willow trees buck brush all kinds of gnarly stuff and the challenge was like you said it was very challenging um the part of that was most challenging was execution because, and that's, a, that has a lot to do with um, kind of the way I approached the final day is, is I started uh, pitching more to the high percentage areas and, and mixing in a frog a little bit more to try to get, keep, keep that, you know, the heart of those bushes and willows and things kind of out of play. If I, if I could, if I could help it, uh, because that's what was causing a lot of lost fish throughout the week. I, I'm not the only one that lost a couple of fish. Everybody probably saw the ones I lost the, the last day of the classic, but um, a lot of guys lost a lot of key fish throughout the week. And, and that was just, um, you know, the circumstances we we were dealt with and, and with, with the current conditions in the high water. And of course, Ray Roberts is full of really good sized fish. Um, you know, a lot of three to five pounders weighed in. There was a couple eight pounders. I think there was three over eight weighed in during the week. And for June, anywhere, that's pretty amazing. So um, it was a fun week. Uh, there again, it kind of came down to execution on the final day. We we made a run at Hank, but um, Hank put his foot down, and, and he at least we made him catch him right. You know that was the goal going into the final day is just do all we can to to try to win the classic because you don't uh you know you go to that event for one reason and that's to try to win. It, being that it was flooded conditions and most of the field was flipping, frogging, uh, that that kind of thing, was was it surprising that some open water techniques ended up ended up playing into the win? Um, you know. Well, considering it was Hank with a jerk bait in his hand, not really. <laughs> but uh, but that being said, you know, the, the bulk of his fish were caught. The bulk of his really big fish, I think, were caught uh, flipping willows, throwing a bladed jig, flipping a jig, things like that around the willow trees, Texas rig. Uh, and I know the last day he downsized his line even to get a few bites, which was, which was definitely a good adjustment that he made in order to win. Um, but, yeah, you know, I think – you know, very, very tiny percentage of fish were weighed in in open water compared to what the majority of the top 10 was doing and, and what they were weighed in and how they were catching them. You know, bushes and, and willows were definitely the dominating factor throughout the week. Well, it looked like a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I know I know a challenge. Again, congratulations on a great finish, uh, a good payday. Uh, and, and thanks for taking us through that. We do have some baits to talk about, right, Corey? We do. We got a couple of new baits coming out from Lunker Hunt. These are the ones that you're going to be talking about today here with us. And we got some more coming out uh, at ICAST itself. We're we'll doing on the show four. But up, uh, what we got first day to Joey here for Matt to talk about with us? Uh, we got the new Typhon, uh, which, which is a, a creature bait. Right, Matt? Can you take us through that guy? Yep, that's right. So, so I'm, I've got one right here in my hand. If you see it, uh, what's cool about the Typhon series, and we've, we've got a smaller version that I'll show you in just a minute, um, but this bait right here is made with ultra durable soft plastic. Uh, and it also floats. Um, cool thing about this bait is you can rig it a lot of different ways. Um, if you see the little the little arrowhead tentacles down there at the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see that pretty clearly. Um, but very cool action. When you Texas rig this thing, rig it on a jig head, um, you know, you can even fish it weightless. Uh, but it does float up. It's got a lot of really good action in the tentacles. Um, and it's very, very durable. This one, this is our larger version. This is a three and a half inch version. 
Um, but this is really cool. So all the panfish guys and the crappy guys and things, I say crappy. I'm from the Carolinas, so I say crappy. Everybody's just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, but <laughs> I uh this is a really neat little dude right here. So this is the the, the baby, the baby type, and it's out, actually only one and a half inches long. Um, same type of plastic, same type of durable plastic. You can see there, same tentacles, same pattern, same design. Uh comes in six. Really good uh, fish catching colors. This is just a good old green pumpkin, um, which is always a go-to, right? Um, but yeah, it, the Typhon, man, two different sizes, ultra durable, soft plastic, and a uh, really cool design. The guys from Lunker Hunt kind of outdid themselves with this one because uh, there's a lot of other two two baits and, you know, little skirted two baits and stuff out on the market. Uh, but the tentacle design there with the little airheads on the end, really neat deal. And the fact that it floats and it's super durable. So really neat new bait from, uh, from Lunker Hunt. Really cool hybrid design. Uh, one technical question for you here, Matt. I know a lot of guys uh, struggle. You mentioned this very durable mm -hmm. style plastic. A lot of guys struggle maybe with Texas rigging this, the hook doesn't sit right. How do you make sure that this bait sits right uh, on the hook and, and gets a perfect presentation? So when you actually go to rig a bait that's got that super durable plastic like that and it stretches, and that can be a challenge. Um, if you look at the core body here um, in between the ribs there, it's it's, it's solid, you know? So the biggest thing is when you, when you go to Texas rig it and you go through the nose and you go down through the body of the bait is to make sure you stretch it a little bit, go all the way through it to where it compacts back together. Um, and I say stretch it a little bit when you go to Texas rig it, because that's what allowed the bait when it comes back together to hang straighter. And I'm, I'm as bad as anybody about wanting my bait to hang perfectly straight. So, uh, yeah, just, just kind of pull that bait as you go to Texas rig it and you pull down on it to put the point through, just kind of stretch that bait out a little bit. And when you go through the body uh, and you come back out the other side and it, 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 it compacts back down to its, its normal version, um, it'll hang nice and straight for you. As far as rigging it with a jig head and things like that, not an issue, um, especially the, the baby version. You know, you can rig it on a little open open 16th ounce jig head, the same thing you would use uh, pan fishing or crappy fishing, things like that. Awesome. And, and that's the Lunker Hunt Typhon, and uh, that's available for pre-order, mm -hmm. expected delivery this fall. Uh, up next, we've got the new Lunker Hunt Tandem Trailer. Again, uh, that same durable plastic. Can you tell us a little bit about this new trailer from Lunker Hunt, Matt? Yep, so I've got a couple in my hand here. Uh, you can see it right here. And you know, it, it does look similar to some of the other kick and leg action type trailers on the market, but this, this trailer actually has a little bit different action and that's what makes it so unique. Um, it's a three inch model. Okay, one thing about this trailer too, and you can see right there in the center, there's a hook exit point to show you where to come out of the bait. Um, as far as rigging this one and keeping it straight, it's very simple, regardless of the fact that it's the ultra durable soft plastic. Um, but it has more of a wave motion as opposed to just a kicking vibrating motion. You know, there's a lot of trailers out there that have the vibrating motion, but this actually has more of a wave motion. And that's really cool on a jig. Um, but what else is really neat is you can rig it on a swim jig or something like that, or even a spinner bait or a bladed jig, and you can rig it not only horizontally, but you can rig it vertically also. Um, so you can rig it like this. Uh, you can see there's two little points on the sides there of the bait to where you, you rig straight down through it. Um, you thread out, you come out one of those holes there. And when you rig it like that, horizontally, it has a swimming action, so it creates more of a, of a, a tail-like image, so to speak. That's, that's a really cool bait. That's one thing I was wondering about using this kind of as uh, at that, that vertical presentation kind of more. I, I guess I have tried to imitate bluegill profile in my mind, at least when I'm thinking about that. And I, like you guys said, I'm, it's, I'm always struggling to make that perfect hook placement. That's really cool. You guys put those spots so you know right where to bring the hook out and, and line up perfectly. Absolutely. It's very user friendly. And one thing about it is, uh, you know, sometimes just a little subtle action, a little subtle change on your, on your jig trailers and, and your swim bait trailers and, um, or not your swim bait trailers, but your spinner bait trailers and things like that can make all the difference in the world and get a few bites. So it gives me another option, uh, in my arsenal to, to add a trailer that gives it a little bit different action, whether it's on the fall or whether it's just swimming it through grass or whatever. Yeah. It's, Go ahead. Just so interesting that we've seen, uh, you know, an old school, chunk on a on a swim jig continue to play uh and 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 be a major player in winning tournaments mm -hmm. uh in in the year 2021 <laughs> with uh with live sonar and all these developments and technology it's 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 cool to see the old school chunk still being extremely relevant uh, and, a, and a tournament winner so uh yeah that's that's a great new product yeah, and if you guys will get one for yourself, it's available for pre-order right now on TACWRL, so go ahead and get in line and make sure to pick some up. You bet. 
Uh, so moving away from, from the soft plastics, up next we have a really interesting and super fun looking bait here. Uh, this is the Lunker Hunt Skitter Lizard. Uh, and, really cool. and Corey, I think you can get some detail there, maybe on the hooks, but uh, Matt, ha have you got a chance to play with this thing? Uh, so I, I'm not gonna lie, I have not had it on the water yet, but I've got, a, I've got one in my hand here. I've got a couple of them here. Um, this is actually the, the whip tail color, as you can tell with the tail there. Um, but it's a really neat bait. You know, they're, they're always cutting edge. They're always very innovative. Um, reason they've won eye cast, what, four times now in the past seven or eight years. Um, those guys are, 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 are on a roll. But if you look at this bait and the design of it, so it is a hollow body bait. Um, you look at the tail and you see the slot. Well, this is one of my favorite features about this bait. Um, because first thing, when I saw this bait, I'm like, you know, the size of it, the length of it. Um, typical hollow body front, you know, um, is hookup ratio, right? And we're all thinking that, but what Locker Hunt's done is they've kind of used the same concept that we used on some of our prop series baits with a stinger hook back here. And you see it's on a harness, very similar to a stinger hook. And there's actually a slot. You can see it right there, I hope that, and it comes right through the back there. Okay. So it's almost like a Texas rig tail, um, on the back of a hollow body lizard front. So a uh, very, very neat, but what this tail does. And when I first saw it, um, you know, I didn't know what it was going to do in the water until I saw the video. And I'm like, well, that's really cool because it's a lot different. Um, it basically turns the water. It's not like plopper style turning the water. It's a lot more subtle, um, but it displaces enough water uh, to make it um, to make it unique and, and kind of set itself apart than a lot of other uh, hollow body baits and things like that out there. Um, but very, very cool. Very cool bait. This is actually a color called Tropic Thunder, which just happens to be one of my favorite movies also. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, very, very cool color and um, very cool bait. Very unique. Going to be, I think y'all, you guys nailed it when you said it's going to be a lot of fun to fish. And uh, I can I can promise you this thing's going to get some big bites uh, somewhere along the way. You bet. Looks like uh, something great to play at the farm pond yeah. with. Or hey, if you're if, if everybody out there is throwing a frog and you need to give them a, a second look, uh, this is definitely going to be a head turner. Yeah, definitely something different looking. And it, but it, you know, a lot of times you get some baits out there that look kind of like you know different creatures and whatnot, and they might not be you know look the most fishable. But this is a very fishy looking bait, and, and you know, it's, I think it's going to catch some fish. It's just cool, unique design, and everything they seem to have kind of thought out all the little little things about to make it uh, not just a a neat looking bait, but a very functional bait that's going to catch fish and make sure you land them as well. Yeah. yeah. Again, yeah, again. Ratio. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Well, the hookup ratio has just been increased with that stinger hook added to the back. Um, but it's, it's, you know, this is one of those baits that, like you said, it's going to be a lot of fun, but it's going to be something that, that gives the fish a different option than all the other, you know, the, the typical frogs and the things that we see every day on, in, in the hollow body world. Um, but it's, you know, it's five and a quarter inches long and it weighs three quarter of an ounce also. So you can cast this thing uh, quite a ways. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really want to see what that tail looks like in the water and the kind of action it, it caused. It looks pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. Definitely looking forward to giving those a try. Yeah. Again, that's the Skitter Lizard from Lunker Hunt, available for pre-order. Looks like shipping uh, late summer, early fall. Very cool. So uh, just in time for the end, end yes. of the top water season <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, and we got one more thing to talk about here with Matt, and that is the Lunker Blade, the Lunker Hunt Lunker Blade. And we talked a little bit about the resurgence of, uh, and, and the, the how relevant the, the chunk style trailers are. This is another design, the blade baits that have been around forever and uh, Definitely having a resurgence, Big a huge time. fish yeah. catcher. Uh, tell us about that, Matt. Yeah, so this is probably one of the, the baits that um, I'm most excited about that Lunker Hunt's launching this year because blade baits, like you said, have, have really started to uh, come back in the bass fishing industry. And honestly, they, they've been there for a while, at least for me they have. They're just not something that's talked about a lot. Um, these are little kind of, you could, you could say secrets of the pros sometimes, but, um, uh, and I, and I, I picked this bait up. It's, it's, uh, you know, especially in the fall when those schooling fish are real fickle and, you know, they're, they're keyed in a little, little bitty bait fish and they're really a pain in the butt to catch. Um, but this is the, this is the larger version. So this is a half ounce version and you can see this is a color called flash. Um, and this is a color called glow, uh, really cool colors there. But if you see at the top of this bait, um, there's multiple line type positions. So the, um, not only is it, it, the castability is amazing with this little bait, um, but what it, uh, you know, what's cool about those, those line type positions is whether you want to fish it vertically or whether you want to cast it and work it back to you, um, you've got options 
to uh, to move your line tie in multiple positions. I mean, it's 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 a great ice fishing bait. This thing this thing will catch fish across the board and it'll catch multiple species too. Um, the smaller version, which is right here, it's actually a quarter ounce. Yeah, this has uh, the same line tie positions on the top. You can see them there, and it's actually got number twelve hooks on it. Very very small, um, but there again, it casts. Got the same great vibrating action. Um, you've got options to fish it vertically, option, option to cast it out and, and yo-yo it, wind it back in, whatever you want to do. This bait is extremely versatile, catches all different species of fish, um, and it'll definitely be a big player for me, especially in the fall, you know, when those fish uh, fish get to chasing small bait fish around and things like that. And you need a bait that you can cast a long ways, right? Because when those fish come up, they're not up long uh, a lot of times, and you need to get in on them quick. Um, but, yeah, the Lunker Blade, very cool. Um, I believe it comes in eight colors, if I'm not mistaken, uh, all great fish catching colors, the flash and the glow that I just showed you two of my favorites. Um, but yeah, they definitely really neat bait. Yeah. Very cool looking bait. I like on this one here, it's got the reflective finish and I don't know if it's me. It seems like this is a little denser and heavier than some of the other baits I've seen in the similar size, but a uh, very cool bait. And you said you throw a lot in the fall time. You know, I think a lot of times it gets kind of pigeonholed in the fall or winter. Like do you, do you strictly throw it in the fall or do other times you, you throw it? And if you do, How's your approach with this different time of year? Um, so the fall and the winter are probably two of the most popular times for me to throw a blade bait. And I'll work it a couple different ways. Typically in the fall, if I'm targeting schooling fish that are actively feeding, um, but very fickle, you know, I'll, I'll use a, a, a medium fast to fast retrieve because I don't want them to get a look at the bait too very, too long. Uh, but in the wintertime, you know, when I'm catch, trying to target suspended fish and things like that, I'll actually use a yo-yo type retrieve. And I have fished these things vertically, um, similar to like a, you know, a, a little spoon or things like that. So um, in the wintertime, I'm typically yo-yoing it or I'm fishing it vertically. In the fall, I'm typically casting it at active feeding fish, actively feeding fish and, and retrieving it uh, medium fast to fast most of the time. Little tiny bait, huge fish catcher. Yeah. And uh, I think people sometimes write this off as a small fish bait. No, no. Uh, we, like, Matt, like Matt was saying, when they're keyed in on the on oh, tiny yeah. shad, uh, big fish will eat For this sure. bait. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, don't, don't let the pros beat you to the punch on that one. You know, uh, blade baits are in all their boats all their boats and like Corey was saying really compact little package here mm. for the weight uh i think this is going to be a killer um and, and available for pre-order right uh, shipping this fall yeah yeah no, very cool stuff a lot of cool stuff coming out from lunker hunt and this is again this is just the stuff that we got here with matt we got a bunch of other videos on the site right now from my cast make sure to check them all out and we got some uh one other thing that's not necessarily a new thing but probably something we want to mention is matt you've got a promotion going on a p line right now don't you oh yeah man so I, i've been asked because, you know, we did a tactical deal last year, I believe, right? Uh, where mm -hmm. we did a buy one, get one free. And it was a little bit earlier in the year, um, probably right around the time COVID started to explode. But we, uh, um, we're we back because everybody all year has been saying, look, when are we going to see another P-Line BOGO deal, buy one, get one free deal? And the blue label, the blue label, the blue label for fluorocarbon, which is arguably, to me, the strongest fluorocarbon in the industry, is now buy one, get one free for the whole month of July. Um, just all you got to do, you can go to, uh, you know, you can go to any P-Line dealer, type of warehouse, obviously, buy you a spool of the blue box and and get you one for free. And, and be sure to take advantage of that because, um, I mean, how, yeah, you can't beat that. The fluorocarbon, we all know, is very expensive nowadays. And uh, when you when you can get buy one, get one free, that's, that's, that's a deal. Absolutely. Any P-Line dealer, including Tackle Warehouse. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> or prefer with Tackle Warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, well, thanks so much for, for taking us through the promotion, uh, through the new Lucker Hunt baits and, and telling us a little bit about your classic uh, experience. Again, great finish there. Huge congratulations. Anything else for, for Matt while we got him on the line? Uh, that's all I can think of, Matt, unless you got something else you want to promote or talk about, but I think uh, that sounds like it's all. Matt, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah, thanks guys for having me. Appreciate it. You bet. I right, see you, bud. All right.